Well, one of the first known cases of coronavirus in the United States, as well as fatalities, were in the state of Washington. Here to give us an update on the Evergreen State's biggest city is Seattle Mayor Jenny Durkin. Thank you for being with us, Mayor. And a number of states, as you know, are beginning to slowly reopen. We heard from your governor, Jay Inslee, who announced yesterday Washington's stay-at-home order will extend beyond May 4th with some restrictions eased. What do you believe it will take for Seattle to successfully reopen? What will that look like? So good morning. We're going to be very careful to look at the science as we did in making the decision to shut down. We know we need broad scale testing and the ability for contact tracing, meaning you go and find everybody who's had contact with someone who's positive to see if they are testing positive and need to be quarantined. And we are we don't have that yet here and we're going to need it before we reopen. Right. And in the meantime, as you know, small businesses struggling so much right now. What has your city done to help them? What more needs to be done? We are doing everything we can for our small businesses. Out of the box, we deferred all their business taxes. I put in place an order that said they could not be evicted so they could stay in place. We had a program to give small loans to small businesses. Um, we're working really hard to keep them resilient, but the federal government is going to have to do more than they have done if our businesses want to make it through this. Now, we know Seattle placed a cap on the commissions that restaurant delivery apps can charge customers. In response uh, to your uh, area and in other cities, some of those apps have said, hey, we've already deferred or we've cut some of those fees and putting a cap on it is unconstitutional. What response have you gotten? We heard from so many businesses who are struggling to stay open and to feed families, frontline workers and keep people employed. And some of the fees that were being charged were just outrageous. You had owners of businesses getting early and doing the deliveries themselves and working around the clock. So we, working with our city council, decided that really to, to do what we needed to do for those small businesses, we were going to put a cap in place. We think it's fair, and we think it also is one that, you know, if it's challenged, it'll hold up. You announced, this certainly made headlines, that you're going to either forego your entire salary for the rest of the year, or if that's not possible, you say you will donate it. Why is this so important to you? It's such a hard time for people right now. In Seattle and across America, so many people have lost their jobs. And in the city, we're, we've lost so many revenues. You know, we're facing some really big budget deficits. And so I, w I was able to talk to my family. I'm really fortunate to be in the position that we could do it. But I wanted to forego that salary so that I would show that I'm in it for Seattle, too. Well, that's incredible leadership. Mayor Durkin, thank you so much for what you do and for being with us today. We appreciate it. Thanks so much. Take care. You too. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.